Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Satori Gendo, and welcome back once again to Euro Truck Simulator 2. <clears throat> yeah, still not feeling that great. Uh, mm, excuse me. It's only been a little while since the last video that I recorded. I'll be going up God knows when. Uh, we're going to take this load of luxury SUVs. Sounds like an awesome job. Uh, and I get to drive a Mercedes cab. A luxury SUV is pulled by a luxury truck. Alright, engine on. Lights on. Shh. Get in and drive. Look at the load. Nice. And get the hell out of Dodge. Four hours and 59 minutes till delivery. Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is back there? Yeah, that's a nacelle. It's up. Or not a nacelle. That's the power plant for a... <coughs> Excuse me for a wind turbine and now we're just waiting to turn and now it is our turn so we're gonna go right now dude you didn't have a turn signal on so fuck yourself yeah fuck yourself <clears throat> yeah if you can tell I'm finding <coughs> new new and new new ways of entertaining myself <laughs> All right, we are definitely <clears throat> speeding already, but that's all right. Speeding is sometimes acceptable, especially when we're just going to make a quick run. Oh, God, I hate intersections like this. <clears throat> Please move. Please move. Is there any... Oh, God, there's a guy turning. Is there anybody else coming? Yes, a tractor trailer all the way back there. But it's okay, we have the time, we have the power, we have the ability, for we are a Mercedes. Drive, you fool! Drive like you've never driven before! And I run, I run so far away. Why do cars get to do 110 kilometers, but we're stuck at 80? Stuck at 80 kilometers an hour. Miserable bastards. <laughs> and we're just gonna cruise our way gently down the highway in our Mercedes in our Mercedes can, can we look around the cab it's kind of a plain cab very nice though very nice actually the aesthetics in this cab aren't that bad oh shit yeah it is kind of plain oh dude I'm sorry I drifted into your lane I almost hit you Let's see. Onboard radio. Onboard Qualcomm. Trying to drive and look up at the same time. Have, oh, sunroof. Sunroof. Nice. I just saw the button right there. It's like sunroof, 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 sunroof. <clears throat> Man, I'm doing horrible driving today. There's my uh, parking brake. Alright, <clears throat> I'm telling you, it must be me being sick that's <clears throat> causing my driving to suck ass, because I am really doing bad, because I'm, I'm all scatterbrained looking around at other stuff instead of focusing on the road, and again, sometimes it does get boring to just drive, hey, when you're sick, you never want to do anything, I know when I'm sick, I don't want to do anything, when I'm sick, I never want to be bothered with anything, I hate when people like come up to me and they're like, oh, I'm sorry you don't feel good, let me give you a hug. It's like, no, don't touch me. I don't want you having it, because I certainly as shit don't want it. I don't want anybody else having it. Oh my god. I hate being sick. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm burping a lot too today. I blame dinner on that. Dinner was an amazing casserole, but... Wow. Uh, a zucchini crust pizza casserole. Holy crap, let me tell you. That was amazing. The onions that were freaking killing me. Oh, the onions that were in there. I got heartburn central right now. So that probably ain't helping. You know, I don't feel good. Plus then I have heartburn on top of that. Mmm, <laughs> heartburn. Boom, 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 bo
really wish I had something more to talk about. I, I know I talked about Anthrocon in the last episode and how um, how the AC staff at the um, registration, it was actually the AC staff at the registration that upset us that year by um, just kind of ignoring what we were saying. You know, they just kept reading from their handbook. And, you know, that's nothing against AC. I get that it's just what the staff had to say. And the funny part was those two of the members of the staff that were there at that time that were talking with us admitted that they were volunteers from like California and uh, Kentucky and stuff and they was like well we've never been to a furries convention this is our first furries convention this is how the only way we could afford to even come was volunteer and it's like oh dude I totally understand and I get that you're just doing your job and reading from the guidebook but I'm just letting you know like you know there's this guy that's screwing over your patrons and thought you guys might want to know that, but seems to be no one really cares other than the hotel staff. And that's not really AC's fault, you know, because that kind of shit happens. And that's any convention, too, and that's, that's one thing that's funny is people think it's bad when AC's in town. You know, it's like, oh my god, Anthrocon's in town. Uh, restaurants and stuff all over town for the next couple days are going to be without food and supplies because all the 6,000 plus attendees are going to eat up a lot of food. <clears throat> and where that's true, Anthrocon is nothing compared to some of the other events that go on in Pittsburgh, such as, uh, oh, excuse me, such as, uh, the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, the Pittsburgh International Auto Show. Pittsburgh International Auto Show brings in like 20,000 people. Yeah. So when AC says they, you know, when people, when AC says, oh, we can't guarantee you that you'll get the room that you ordered, that, you know, there might be problems, I don't doubt it, because AC is kind of nothing compared to some of these other things that go on in Pittsburgh. Okay, do I have clearance to go? Nope, 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 nope. I don't. There's a truck right there. Aw, oh, and you would be turning too, you dick. Okay, my parking brake's on. Is there another vehicle coming? Yes, but we have time to go. You didn't even turn. You dick. I want to catch up and run you off the road now, just because you're such a dick. Ugh, three hours in game away from destination, and I'm gonna catch this, catch up on this log track. Ugh. Catch up on this log truck rather quick. What are you doing, dude? Dude, you're coming over on me. Yeah, you need to learn to drive. Oh, and now I'm speeding. Oh, now am I speeding? All right, we're just gonna set cruise control to 69, one mile under him. 69, go figure. Oh my God, drive, drive. I have no clue what I'm singing, nor do I really know why. I could be singing "Girl from Ipanema," so. That's for going around me, a fucking dick bag. <clears throat> I'm a very, very violent driver at times, if you couldn't tell. I have my mother's road rage. And my dad's road rage. More my mother's though. Holy shit. Holy shit, do I have my mother's road rage. I really don't know what you talk about or what I'm saying at all. But that's okay, as long as you are all enjoying this video, then that's all I need. <laughs> right now my dog is scratching at the door. She wants in the room, but she's gonna have to stay out for now. <laughs> she is, she's over there, scratch. Scratch, scratch. Scratch, like, there she is again. Like, but I want in. You never let me in the room. I don't need you in the room while I'm recording. You're loud. I mean, normally I would probably let her in, but... 
sometimes it's just it's a bother because you never know when they're gonna suddenly do something that makes a noise and then you gotta cut the recording or edit the recording and I know sometimes it's just easier to leave the edit in or the, the uncut in but sometimes it's just easier and better to not have to uh, make a cut or a second take or anything Uh, come on there, Mercedes. You got plenty of power. You can do it. And they need it in 7 hours and 21 minutes. We're going to be there in the next 2 hours. 2 hours and 10 minutes. Midnight, you can lay down. I love you, baby girl, but go lay down. She's just scratching away. She hears me talking too, so that don't help. She's like, who are you talking to? Who's in there with you? I want to hang out with them. Another van. I swear to God, it's the same van, because it's green. Just like the other one. She's trying hardcore to get in this room right now. Never did catch up to that log truck. Got close. Never did catch him. I'm sure if I gunned it some. Oh, I could be right up on him, but I uh, see now we're starting to go uh kind of on an uphill incline a little. So now he's gonna probably start slowing down. I'm probably gonna slow down a little bit. Unless I lay on the throttle. <sighs> God tired. Probably shouldn't be driving this way, but I am. I am so energetic right now. Not. No, I need something to be energetic. I need a very energetic game to play. Mm, I might play and record some Shadow Warrior after this. I think that would be a good idea. Yes, that would be a good idea. Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior it is. Sounds like a great idea. I gotta make a turn up ahead. I'm amazed. I'm amazed balls right now. Oh, you're turning that way. Okay. That's cool. Anything coming? Nope. Anything coming? Nope. Good, because I am just rolling right along. Oh, I hit the wrong camera button. Sounds dead at for 9:30 at night. Wow. Ooh, I'm speeding. It's okay. I just got outside the city limits, so it's back up to 70. I'm an hour and 18 minutes away from my destination. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. I really wish I knew what I was actually singing, but I don't freaking know. Oh my god, I really wish I had something to talk about. I feel like this is going to be a very boring episode because nothing to talk about, nothing to say. Normally, I got a lot, and normally I'd like to have a lot to say, but I really don't have anything to say this time. Uh, like I said, I talked about Anthrocon a little bit last episode. Talked a little bit, a little bit about Anthrocon this episode. Uh, really don't know what to talk about, what to say, do next. Don't know where to go other than to just get my company built up. Maybe buy my first truck after this. I think I'm going to start out with a fleet of mans. Start out with that and uh, see where the company goes from there. Then later replace each truck. You know, when the driver's paid off the vehicle, when each driver's made at least the cost of their cab, sell the cab off for a new one. So, like, hire a driver, and when he makes the $94,000 back that the cab cost, sell off the cab, buy him a new cab, 
buy him a better cab or upgrade his cab, you know. I don't think you can upgrade him. I think you gotta sell him off and buy a new one. Mm -hmm. Felt like honking at that guy. Like, hey, buddy, what's up? How are you? It's a nice bridge. It's a nice, nice look of the land here. Mm, look at that Mercedes. I wish I could uh, remember how to take screenshots. Be nice to get a screenshot of that. I don't remember. It's probably something as simple as print screen, but I'm an idiot right now. Too brain dead. Not feeling well, remember? <sighs> mm. That's the sound of a tired mouse. A mouse that does not feel well. A mouse that needs to get some rest. Nothing coming that way, and not that I need to worry about that way, but... Wow. Horrible. Right over the solid whites. 21 minutes away from my destination. Which means probably up ahead here, it's going to drop down to 50 kilometers an hour. So technically, I should slow down from what I'm already doing. Yeah, I love those signs there. It's like, you know, do not... Uh, do not turn to enter. Uh, no, no left turn. Yet, if you need gas bad enough, you're gonna turn. Oh, I'm speeding. I'm I speeding. Doing 88, 89, 90. I'm doing the truck limiter. Truck's limited to 90. I'm doing 90 in a 70. We are so speeding. Lublin. Lublin? Lublin? Alright, we're coming into the city center. Which means, yep, 50. There it is, and I hit 50 exactly on the uh, cruise control as we were dropping through speeds. Oh, come on, turn green. I don't want to have to slow down. You dick. There we go. <laughs> this is a town I've not been to before. Very nice looking. Euro goodies. Alright. Oh, I got a red light. Oh, you got a red light. I'm staring at you, red light. You are not my friend. I dislike you with great intensity. And now we're gonna go. You better not turn. Oh yeah, we got one more light that we're probably gonna have to sit through. Actually, we're just gonna set the cruise control to 43. Maybe we can cruise our way down the light so when we get there, we don't have to stop. It'll already be changing. Yes. Oh, that guy has a trailer with this company's logo on it. Oh, I thought for sure he was coming in here, but apparently not.
and drop trailer. And there we have it. Yeah. Awesome load of cargo delivered in perfect condition. Well, I think that's where we're going to leave this episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, as usual, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to see more of this video or more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. This is Hattori Ginzo signing out for the night, saying good luck and good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.